hey guys welcome back to the channel as you can see it is another food video I've been missing doing these and recently I have been living off of overnight oats I even have it for lunch because of my intermittent fasting but this is pretty much how I prepare it and I kind of figured that I want to share that with you as you can see it's a lot of fruits nuts seeds look it's health on overdrive so if you want to see how I prepare these then you know what to do do keep watching so the first one is known as my strawberry chocolicious okay that's a terrible name but anyway this is for when I have a sweet tooth I add this one with a little bit of chocolate nibs I know I don't have it that often but it is so good and I wanted to share it with you so this is how I make the strawberry chocolicious so these are all the ingredients that I use for the strawberry charcoalicious. Of course, the star of the show is the rolled oats. And then following that, you've got the strawberries, the co-star of the show. And then our highlight is the chocolate nibs. Of course, not too much of these. That's already too many, but you'll see how it goes. And then maple syrup for someone who's feeling like a little bit of extra sweetness. And then of course, a Greek yogurt because I use Greek yogurt it's great for binding and mixing everything together and a little bit of milk so I don't use all of that in the thing in the oats but you'll see how it goes you'll see how it goes oh and um, before I forget chia seeds very very important gives a lot of fiber very good it blends very well and of course it expands so that's also going to be another addition to the oats so as you can see I've got a little bit of a mason jar here uh, or some sort of jar it's not a mason jar but you know it's a jar okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is add the oats to the jar this is gonna get a little bit messy but don't judge me it gets better with the other ones <laughs> see so then I add the Greek yogurt to the mix. Now this is going to help bind everything together. I'm going to stir and do the most. This does tend to get a little bit messy, but it gets better with the other two recipes. You'll see, you'll see. Um, but I add the Greek yogurt. This is gonna help bind everything together. And of course you stir, it is a little bit tricky. It is a little bit tricky, but you know what? We know what the plan is. We know what the plan is. So you continue to stir, try and bind everything together. Okay, so from there, I add a little bit of the milk. This is to your taste. If you do not want to add milk, it is your choice. It's fine, but I add it too much. But girl, I'm too much. That's, that's, that's all I'm about. So I try and stir this in as dangerous as that look, I promise. The outcome is an amazing thing. It really is. <laughs> when you really don't know what you should do, I always got a smile on my face, not in a rush, cause I think So from there, cleaned up everything, I add the strawberries. Now this is what adds. Strawberries are very, very good in terms of uh, dietary purposes. Of course, we all know this. We all know what strawberries are good for. So I just add that to the mix. Um, uh, it gives a lot of crunch. Everything is sort of going to bind in together. The oats is going to expand overnight. It's going to make it thick, juicy, delicious. Oh my God. It's going to be so good. Of course, clean up as you go because that's how we do it in this house. We clean up as we go. So from there, we add the chia seeds. So the chia seeds are really, really good for fiber, very, very high in fiber. This makes this meal already so, so filling. For me, I typically do not eat the whole jar. I'll often have half and give half to my colleague if I'm at work, or I leave half for later on in the day if I feel so. And then after that, you add your stars of the show. Now, like I said, you don't add all of them. We might all have sweet teeth and sweet toothers and whatever. <laughs> but you do not add all of them. And you just keep stirring and binding everything in together. I swear this thing is so delicious. And then for those people who do have that extra sweet tooth, a tiny bit of maple syrup will go all the way. Go all the way. Listen, this is one of the best ones. I promise you guys that right now. Oh my god. And then you stir. 
that pretty much finalizes everything and then of course I add some more strawberries on the top um, strawberries berries are actually much much better if you are trying to lose weight as opposed to things like fruits like bananas so this is a really really good one very rich in the yogurt in the milk everything will bind together overnight and I promise you the following morning oh my gosh oh my gosh Give me remedy. So the next one is what I like to call the kiwi sensation. The kiwi is the star of the show and it's got some blueberries in there as well, some raspberries, just really, really packed with a lot of punch and it's a little bit tangy as well from the kiwi. It's a really, really good one, really fresh as well. So let me show you how I make this one. Okay, so a rundown of the ingredients. Star of the show is the oats, of course. And in this one, the co-stars of the show are the berries, raspberries, blueberries, and the kiwi, which is somewhere under there. I promise you it's there. I can see it. And then after that, it's the maple syrup, which actually works really, really well because the fruits are quite tangy. So it adds a little bit of sweetness. Chia seeds for a lot of fiber, of course. And then to blend, mesh everything in together, the Greek yogurt along with the milk. This is to your taste as much as you would like. See, so your girl thought about it. Okay, I'm like, get a spoon and put everything inside. Also reduce the amount of oats as well. So I add all the oats, add it all in there, girl. Add all the oats into the jar, as you can see. There, there it is. And then, of course, we follow with the um, Greek yogurt. I can never, I keep forgetting the name. <laughs> and then we follow with the Greek yogurt. This is also to your taste as much as you want. I normally really put in about three, four maybe tablespoons of the Greek yogurt. Add that and then wipe down. Very good. Well done. Clean space. Okay. <laughs> and then we add a little bit of the milk now this is going to bind in everything together you can use almond milk you can use normal milk oat milk listen it is completely up to you and then of course just to bind everything in together we stir it up let me sing a song from the heart take a breath and let my life start you know that you're my remedy now, of course, for fiber power, we have... Did I say the chia seeds are good for protein? I meant fiber. For fiber power, we add the chia seeds, which are going to expand in the oats, of course, overnight, as I said. We add that in there. We stir it up a little bit. You stir as you go with this because you want everything to sort of mesh in well together. That's the whole idea, okay? And then we add our fruits. Now, you don't add all of that. It is up to you. It is up to your taste. But you add it in there and you stir it in there as well. Now for a little sweetness, which will be very relevant for this uh, oats dish, definitely add a little bit of maple syrup. As you can see, I barely add that much. Listen, all you need is maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon. It is up to you and you stir it nicely in there. You get everything nice in there, you know. It already looks so good. Oh my God, it already looks so good. Oh gosh. And then... You top off everything and just a little bit of a decorative feature on top there. It's so nice when you open up the jar in the morning and you just see them staring at you like, eat me, eat me. But that's pretty much how it looks. And then wipe everything down. Yes, girl. Do the most. And that's pretty much how it looks when it's done. Isn't that beautiful? Look at all that color. Oh. It sends me round and round and it lifts my feet up off the ground. Oh. Now, if you know me and you've been following this channel for a while, you will know 
that this one is probably my favorite one and it is because I love oats and I love banana banana is my favorite fruit and this one is called the banana power I love it so much because it's got all the healthy fats it's got the almond butter it's got the banana it's got the nuts Girl. Mm. just just watch just watch okay Okay, so a list rundown as always. Star of the show. Hey, star of the show. Rolled oats. And then my bananas. My favorite fruit. It's so pretty. It's so yellow. And then we have got cinnamon because banana goes so well with cinnamon. Very, very. It's like delicious. We've got the chia seeds, of course, fiber power, and to blend and thicken the rolled oats up, of course. And then we've got the maple syrup, which is definitely something that I love to add here because banana's sweet, but it's not that sweet, you know, and I still have that sweet tooth. Then we've got a little bit of my milk. Uh, then it is the almond butter, which I add to the mix because it's great, healthy fats. And then you've got your Greek yogurt. So let's get started, okay? So in the usual fashion, I've already added the rolled oats and then I follow with the Greek yogurt. You see, I, I, I pause before I say Greek yogurt because I keep forgetting. And then of course, after the Greek yogurt, we will follow then with the milk. It looks untidy, I know, but that's not the that's not the point that's not the point then we add the little bit of the milk so that we can blend and bind everything in together of course so once everything is binded in and blended and mixed and don i added the chia seeds fiber power then I add a little bit a teeny weeny weeny bit of cinnamon which is great it gives that cinnamon taste if you love cinnamon you know what I mean and then of course my co-stars hey girls the bananas oh my gosh my mouth is literally salivating like I'm craving this right now it's so bad it's so bad but um, yeah and then I add the bananas and then I follow with a little bit of that almond butter because we're gonna mix that in right now so yeah just yeah do it mm. and then that last last bit for that extra sweetness is that maple syrup if you do not want the maple syrup you're just okay with the bananas not a problem add that in and then stir for the final 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 touches <laughs> All right, and finally, as a last decorative feature, we add some more bananas because you can never have too many bananas. I promise you, you can't. You can't. I love bananas, okay? Please tell me if you love bananas. Comment down below. I love them. And then just to top it off, I added a little bit of almond flakes because nuts, everything, healthy fats, everything. Add that to the mix and then you leave it at that. That's it. That's honestly it. She's so pretty. Oh, did I just? Oh, yeah. Topped it off with a little bit of chia seeds. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> and that is pretty much it from me. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this. I loved filming this video. I was just such a happy chappy when I was filming this. Oh, my gosh. My favorite one, of course, is Banana Power. We've got Kiwi Sensation there. And we've got Strawberry Chocolate. Just like, listen something for everyone if you'd like to see more of these let me know but for now i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed the video see you in the next one bye